Hi, um, welcome to my tutorial on the golden ratio um, instead of the rule of thirds. Um, so this was actually um, a simple um, photo I did of myself just pouring some coffee um, that I percolated on a stove. And um, I usually use the rule of thirds in photography. And as, as, I, as you can see, I'm just trying to sort of crop it with the golden ratio rule now. As you can see, the tiny little triangle is actually making the point of interest, which is the coffee pouring out. And a lot of artists um, I heard have actually used this rule instead of like the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds I heard is a bit boring and it's kind of very, very obvious for what you're trying to be doing. But to be honest, when you're using um, the golden ratio, it's getting that real renaissance look within your photography. And I've only just learned this in the last week, actually, because I was always just used to, ah, oh, yeah, rule of thirds and stuff. But now that I've actually um, uh, done some proper research on the golden ratio, it seems more um, that I'm getting that touch that I'd want to with my photography now and just perfecting that art sense as you can see I'm cropping it on the screen now and um, I'm just uh, making sure that the coffee everything's in line oh there we go and um, how I did it was is I actually downloaded the golden ratio online uh, just like a, a template I did an overlay in Photoshop and so just make sure like you can still see in the background of what's going on and this is another photo of me, actually. Um, it's a 360 shot that I actually did in uh, the university, just of myself there. And under a tree, I was testing it out, of course. And I want to actually start doing this with all my photos now and just re-editing it the way that the golden ratio works because it makes a lot of sense because you need that point of interest. But actually, it's more on the math basis now. So it's actually all the Fibonacci code. Um, and it's something like you would hear out of um, the Da Vinci code, really. But Da Vinci actually did use the golden ratio. And that's why I've fallen in love now with this whole idea of this, um, with this idea of it. And it seems quite amazing, though, just trying to, you know, get that tiny triangle and line it up and crop it properly and do proper framing within a shot instead of just shooting anything willy-nilly and it's become um, an easier way as you can see I'm eradicating all that negative space that's actually in the background now and as you can see I'm just cropping everything there and making sure I get everything right and as you can see I get rid of the overlay delete that look at that perfect shot and it's in the frame as well as you can see it's always equal equal balance on all sides thank you for watching